France's embargo of Mirage 5J fighters in 1967 forced Israel to establish an indigenous aircraft industry. This led directly to an unlicensed copy of the Mirage 3 as the Nesher. The Nesher was developed by Israel Aircraft Industries into the Canard-equipped KFIR Lion Cub. Integration of the new US-supplied J-79 engine required total redesign of the rear fuselage and a cooling inlet in the dorsal fin. The new forward fuselage was extended to house avionics, including the Elta 2001B ranging radar and a comprehensive weapons delivery and navigation suite. The prototype was flown in 1973 and production KFIR C.2S entered service in the fighter-bomber role with the IDF-AF in 1975. The tandem two-seat KFIR TC.2 was developed as a weapon system trainer and EW, electronic warfare, platform. Some 185C.2S and TC.2S were built, including 12C.2S exported to Ecuador in 1982, and another 11 to Colombia in 1988-89. By 2020 Colombia operated a total of 23 CFRs. Both customers also received to KFIR TC.2S Ecuador's CFRs clashed with Peruvian fighters during border disputes in 1995 and, along with Mirage F-1S, have made three confirmed aerial kills. Virtually all surviving Israeli CFRs were upgraded to KFIR C.7 and TC.7 standards from 1983. These have two additional hardpoints, further avionics improvements and have what are, effectively, Hoda's cockpits. Kfirs remain in service only as reserves in Israeli and possibly equip up to five squadrons. One of the export customers was Sri Lanka which acquired KFIR C.2S, 6 units, and TC.2S, 2 units, from Israel in 1996. Sri Lankan Kfirs have been used in offensive actions against the Tamil Tiger rebel group. Variants KFIR C.1 was an initial production variant. F-21A Lion is a U.S. military designation of the upgraded KFIR C.1. A total of 25 upgraded KFIRs were leased to the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps. These fighters were used for an aggressor role in the U.S. Navy Strike Fighter Tactics Instructor Program. The F-21A was retired from the U.S. Navy service in 1988 and from U.S. Marine Corps service in 1989. KFIR C.2 is an upgraded version with a number of aerodynamic improvements. It entered service in the fighter-bomber role with the IDF-AF in 1975. KFIR TC.2 is a two-seat trainer variant. KFIR C.7 is an upgraded variant. It used an improved J-79, GE, J-1E engine, which generated more thrust. This allowed to add two more hardpoints under the air intakes and carry more weapons. Improved avionics was fitted and in-flight refueling capability was added. Most, if not all, of the KFIR C.2S were upgraded to this standard. KFIR TC.7 is a two-seat trainer variant. KFIR C.9 was a version proposed to Argentina. It was powered by a French Alter 9K50 engine. However eventually Argentina placed no orders and the project was cancelled. Components developed for the C. 9 were used to upgrade the South African Mirage 3s. This led to the South Africa's Atlas Cheetah. KFIR C.10 was an export variant. It was also referred as the KFIR-2000. This aircraft fitted with Elta EL-M 2032 multimode radar that allowed delivery of precision-guided Munjishan. Also the KFIR C.10 had improved avionics. As a result surplus Israeli KFIR airframes were made available for export. This version has been exported to Colombia and Ecuador. Some Ecuadorian CFRs have been upgraded to KFIR CE configuration with Elta EL 2034 5 radar. KFIR TC.10 is a twin seat trainer. It was delivered to Colombian Air Force. KFIR C.12 is a version for Colombian Air Force without the Elta EL M 2032 radar. 
this version was more suitable for ground attack. KFI Arts Nyat is a reconnaissance version, developed from the KFI RC.2. KFI R Block 60 is the latest version. It is a further upgrade of the C.10 fitted with Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar. This version was proposed to Argentina, Bulgaria, and Colombia. In 2014 it was announced that IAI plans to relaunch production of the KFIR Block 60 for export customers. At that time the Argentinian Air Force planned to acquire 14 nuke furs to replace its aging Dassault Mirage 3 and Mirage B fighters. However the deal was not finalized due to funding problems. Interestingly in 2015 Argentina retired all of its Mirage fighters without replacement due to extreme funding shortages. Once the Argentinian Air Force was one of the most powerful air arms in South America. However after decades of decline the Argentinian Air Force nearly ceased to exist. KFI RNG. The designation NG stands for Next Generation. It is a further upgrade that was first publicly revealed in 2019. This upgrade is being offered for current operators of the KFIR, including Colombia, Ecuador and Sri Lanka.